Hello, lovelies. Here we are for another episode of my build with Peach Meadow. So what we have so far is a city that is just under 2,000 people. And look at this. This is a vibrant, bustling community already. We have so many riverside properties up here and the vistas are just gorgeous. Just imagine living here and you can walk outside your front door and immediately be greeted by all these beautiful mountains. And then you can just like turn to your right and there's a nice river right there. And everything is just vibrant and bustling. And I love it so much. So what we're gonna be doing today is, <clears throat> I think I changed my mind on which tile that I wanna purchase. And instead, what we're gonna do is we are going to work on a forestry industry and kind of start the bare bones of a bit of a farming industry as well. And so in order to do this, I'm just going to purchase the tile that is directly north of this one and we will get started by seeing what natural resources we have. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we need to do. So we placed a little bit of, you know, we placed a little bit of commercial in here. Um, so that's where we left off last episode. I think what I'm going to do real quick is we have quite a bit of residential demand and I mentioned last episode that I wanted to kind of preserve this like forestry as much as I can. And so I think in order to do that, I'm going to end development um, right here. We'll just make one more block. And we're, I'm gonna take a look at my zoning. And I'm gonna extend this district down one more block like this. And I'll go ahead and make some more housing. And this is where this uh, this is where this is going to end, right here. Uh, I think this is a pretty natural spot for it to end because look how dense this forest is. I want to preserve as much of this as I can. So what I'm going to do is we have this collector here that's running through, and. Um, Eventually, this is going. This is going to end up getting a lot of traffic, just based on how I've uh, kind of laid the road out. So I think what I want to start doing is I just want to go ahead and turn about a 45 degree angle and start going building this way. Um, I really don't want to end this road here, and so let's go ahead and do that. Here's here I am at kind of like a 45 degree angle. Um, you can just kind of start here. Here we go. We'll go. 40 or so units. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and just turn into that, just like that. Okay, and this will be a good spot for me to break the grid. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is we'll start here. Just wanna add like one or two more blocks before getting started. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go my normal 11 units off of this, and 15 up. You'll notice that the grids don't exactly, oops, that was 60. You'll notice that the grids don't exactly match now because they're at different angles. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take some of these streets and uh, you know, kind of continue it and then uh, just curve this right here like that. It looks changing, let's try that again. Yeah, I'm just using dirt roads to lay everything out at first, so that in case I do mess up or anything, um, I can just undo and it costs me a lot less. Okay, so then I'm gonna just gonna kind of do this. And I think I wanna do something um, a bit different with this space. <clears throat> I really like how this space is laid out right here. And I think what I wanna do is we had this cool break in this pizza, s you know, actually, I'm gonna go tear that too. And I want to create a city park in here later. So I'll just make a note of that, that we are going to make a city park in here. 15 more units. And then we'll continue the grid as normal this way. So there, 10 units. Here, 10 more units, 
here's 15. Maybe I could have gone 15 here. I think I'm just gonna curve into here like that. And curve into there like that. I think that looks good. <clears throat> and we'll go one more block. Oh, actually, before I do that, um, maybe one. Oh, that was, uh, that's not what I wanted. 20, 20, 28. So what I want to do is I want to meet up. Do I? Yes, I do. Uh, I want to kind of meet the meet up here. I know that, yeah, this is a collector. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. Out like this about 10 units up a little bit like that there we go that looks pretty nice if I do say so myself let's go that's not too sharp of an angle so that's okay now we can go over 10 more units here like this maybe just make kind of a unique little um, section here I think something like this. I don't know, that looks kind of cool. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so yeah, we'll keep this um, open to become a city park. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some water lines in here. All right. like this. Ah, that's JP. Come on. I can do better. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. Don't bleed the house. Or maybe just uh, something like this. I think this looks good. There we go. And just add a straight road right there. Excellent, and uh, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm not gonna mess with it. So I think maybe I can place something in here like, um, I don't know, maybe like a, you know what? We don't have any libraries yet because we have not unlocked the library yet. No, we have, I just don't have enough money, uh, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and zone in here. And this is gonna be, this is going to just be, um, pretty much all residential here. I think this was, this is off a little, but that's okay. So again, I'm gonna upgrade this um, eventually to a wider road, uh, but today is not the day that I do that. Oh, and I see we, have a fire here, so maybe we have a little bit of gap in our fire coverage. And we do, so I think, yeah, we have a pretty decent gap in our fire coverage. I think this would be a good spot for it. Right there. So it's got pretty good access to this road. Oops. I'm gonna go and upgrade this. Maybe, uh, this is kind of like a, like a half collector ish right here. You know, I could have probably just curved this whole thing, but that's okay. And so these, this will just kind of connect from here to here. I could see this road getting a little bit of traffic, um, especially if it continues on this way. Uh, that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and maybe zone on the other side too, just like one more one more block and then we will get started with our with our uh, industry and I think it's gonna be okay to have houses here on this road oh. because I can see more people using this one in the future anyway and um, regardless, they're both going to end up turning 
turning in, not like becoming, but like they will turn into a road that comes off going this way and kind of cuts through this um, this open space. What's this? Looks like a meteor hit. It's interesting. Um, so yeah, we will just kind of go from here. So we have a little bit of industry demand, I see. Now that we have a few more people coming in. And <clears throat> while that's working, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this tile. So this is the tile that I was talking about that I wanted to get. And you'll see that there is a ton of forestry here. We take a look at the natural resources. And there's a ton right here. So I think it could be a cool thing to take this road here. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. I'll just run this. And it's gonna be kind of like our main road. And then we'll just run this towards the highway along the riverbed like that. The river bank, not the river bed. Make sure these are connected. There we go. So we have a nice curve going into this. Now we're gonna put all the all the forestry in this general area. And then what I wanna do is I want to I'm just gonna set this up for right now. Oops, Oops I forgot to um, elevate. So set this up, I want to have, I don't wanna put an interchange here because there's one already so close. And so I was thinking maybe just um, having something that goes over and maybe in the future, I will consider um, maybe making this like a, like a four way that maybe like goes across here to like some more industry or something. Uh, this isn't gonna, this is gonna already carry like a ton of traffic volume. So I need to be, I need to be careful with that. So we'll go ahead and curve that. And I think that's good for right now because I'm just kind of setting this up. Now let's go take a look over here. Now, if you'll look here, we have lots of fertile soil. And I think this could be a great spot for, um, a road to come through here that bridges across. Now I want to be careful, and I think I think maybe it would be best to probably just kind of um, let things run and make a little bit of money. Let's take a look at our budget and see if there's anything I can cut out. I do have a lot of electricity availability. Um, uh, oh, and I could I need to up my water budget anyway. So it doesn't look like there's much I can really, really cut out of here, unfortunately. Um, let's take a look at our taxes. Taxes are good. Loans. I could take out a couple loans. It doesn't seem too egregious to take these out and try and uh, create jobs. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create another road off of here now. Get started. We're going to go towards the interstate. And I do have more plans with with this particular road. What I wanna do is, in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. Um, <clears throat> our, our industry is going to create a ton of traffic. That's just the way, that's just kind of the way it goes. And I kinda wanna get ahead of this by just giving them a way directly onto the highway from here. And I also want to give these guys a way directly off. I think um, one way we can accomplish that is just by creating something like this. So nine meters, so it goes ahead. We'll bridge over, and then these guys can come straight into um, the um, industrial area. Oh, bollocks. Come on. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this to the um, the industry four lane. Not that we really need it. it looks like crap. Come on, come on, Zelda, you can do this. There we go. Okay, so essentially, I'm gonna give people coming in a way directly to the industry. People going out directly out of out of town. 
Now, people who live over here, they're more than likely just going to use this road to get out. That's why I'm not too concerned about placing this in. And this is only, see, look, we already have industry tax. No. Don't, don't do that. Right turns only. There. Um, there we go. I will upgrade this eventually. In fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this now. At least up to this point. There we go. Okay, so we have kind of like the, the foundation of our industry area. And the next thing we need to do is paint a district. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna give us a name, Beechwood Land. And I'm gonna extend this all the way over to here. Um, we'll probably extend into this eventually. Um, <clears throat> but this is, I said, like I said earlier, this is some really prime real estate right here. This is right along the river. This is where the downtown's gonna be. I think I just wanna mostly leave this alone. So let's take a look, Beechwood Land. Um, yeah, I really like that. Let's take a look at our natural resources. So this looks like about where I'm gonna wanna put our, um, our tree farms. I think this is a good spot. So I'll, you know what? I think it's gonna look cool to have like a dirt road going through this. I know it doesn't carry a whole lot of traffic, but it just looks a lot cooler to me, um, in, just in general. I think maybe if I had a road coming through here, like this. Let's just place the industry area first, or like the industry main building. Okay, so we have enough for a small tree plantation, a small log yard, and, and a sawmill. And so essentially what's gonna, what we're gonna be able to do is, um, I don't need to see that. We can place these tree plantations here and these are going to, um, these are gonna help get, um, like get trees and stuff. I probably need to move that over. There's one more cause I'm gonna put another road that, um, I'm gonna put another road that cuts through here like this. <clears throat> I think this is where I wanna place the main forestry building, or do I? Because let's see how much I can get. Yeah, 4,800 units, okay. Maybe place. Uh, it's gonna cost me too much to relocate this again, so I am just gonna leave it like this for right now. Ah, there we go, okay. Costing me more money just relocating all my buildings. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some water over here now. These power lines actually look kind of cool in the context of like industry. Just having these kind of close by. Ooh, this looks really nice. We got our guy, presumably with a steel chainsaw. I hope it's a steel chainsaw. I love steel. And let's try to, let's try to make a little bit of money off here. Okay. Go out this way just a little bit more. 4,800 units, 4,800 units, excellent. Let's build another road that goes off of here and I'm gonna connect it to this. And I think this would be a good spot for my sawmill because there's not as many trees around here to, um, that are gonna generate a whole lot. So this would be a great place for the sawmill. Let's place that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place a log yard or two. Yeah, yeah, that can, that can work. You know, actually I should have placed the log yard here. How much is it gonna cost to move? For that okay so I think this look this is looking really cool so far and then we're just gonna kind of wait and oh cool I didn't even realize that we were 
um, on the cusp of reaching this. Okay, so I can go ahead and buy another area. I'm probably not gonna do that next, or not do that just yet. We've unlocked, we've unlocked some mass transit options, such as the bus. We got the post office, tours, and tram. Um, yes, I'm going to do be doing a lot with this. Um, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we've unlocked some of these. We've unlocked some new roads. Um, we've got like tram tracks, ferries. We got some water pipe with heating. This is a temperate map, so we won't be needing this. Um, and we got just lots more stuff, such as like elder care, child care. We have cemeteries, um, lots of goodies, lots and lots and lots of goodies. So. Um, I think I'm gonna do that in the next episode though. I'm gonna call this Beechwood Forestry. And we just need about 90 more workers until we hit the next milestone. So I think maybe if I put in like one more sawmill that we would be golden here. Okay. Similarly, I bet if we, if I go ahead and put in maybe just a couple more of these. Yeah, see how it um, estimated production drops down. So I don't want to place that there. I think I'll place maybe another sawmill here. I think this is a good spot and that's not a good spot. 4,200 get a little bit more over here but I think that's okay I want to try and maximize the production in the meantime I think maybe this is a good spot for another sawmill oh it doesn't no that's that's not right this is it here we go okay and we'll just place that right there I think maybe it could look cool to have like a walking path in between like this yeah that looks cool Looks good. Don't really want a road there because we have one here. That's yeah, looking a little close. I think maybe putting like another path through here. Look good. You know what? I'm I'm okay with the main forestry building being here. So not enough raw materials. Hmm. That's not good. Plenty of forestry over here, so maybe the problem is just we don't have enough workers yet. So we'll just need about 50 more workers. Um, I think in the meantime, maybe what we do is we make just like a little, just like a little town right here. I think it look good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of snake this along the river front like this. Build a couple of, um, just build a couple of dead ends. <clears throat> People who live here are more likely to just um, be working in like the forestry area. So we can just put like, a couple of little, a couple of little dead ends. There's a little bit of a detail. Maybe something that extends out this way. And then that will be that. Make sure we get water underneath here real quick. All right. And I'm just going to place, place a few homes in here. Nothing, not a whole lot. Just a few like this. Just a few homes. Presumably these people would want like their own land and everything. Um, these are good old boys who are gonna be living here. And girls. Lots of lumberjanes. There we go. Maybe another 
another house like right here. Like this. And maybe like here at the edge, we just get a somebody with just like a much larger property. Maybe something right here. And I think to top it all off, um, I want just like a little bit of commercial. Here, this way they don't have to drive like all the way into the city. So, yeah, like go get their carton of eggs or you know, whatever else, whatever they need. And I think to maybe send, to finish off this episode, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build uh, some walking paths from the end of these um, cul-de-sacs. That just go right up to here and then maybe something that like, can, uh, see I hate, I hate when this happens. Like you make something and it just like disconnects. Snakes along back here. That looks good. Yeah, see, it did it here. Here we go. And last but not least, it's going to happen. I like how this kind of meanders, too. See, that looks good. And then we have like these walking trails where if they want to go to work, they can just um, like walk up here. Let's kind of christen this by maybe the Sunset Park. We'll just call this Beachwood. Um, Beachwood Shore. There we go. I'm gonna add the policy of uh, schools out. This way they want to, um, where, hold on. I think that European looking too. Uh, this way they'll just want to go kind of just like straight to, um, forestry more or less since they're like close in closer proximity to the um, um these areas never or like the industry and I want them to work in the industry okay so I think that will be it for today um thank you for joining me and until I uh, hold on maybe like a one last thing maybe just like a playground or something plaza over here maybe it'll attract more people over here to have have a park or two yep see somebody's already building a house perfect all right well i will see you guys in the next episode thank you for joining me